So I just attempted to record this video and I hadn't started the video recording. So I'm gonna do it again. These are the coloring books that I've recently purchased like in the past month and some of them even today. And with this per these purchases, I probably have tripled the number of coloring books I had. So um, that's, I guess, good to have some more choices. But I bought this Imaginary Forest of Jane F. Hankins and it has some really, really gorgeous stuff in it um, that I'm almost afraid to start coloring because I just don't, I, I don't know, like, wow, they're so pretty. Um, I suppose I could always buy another copy of it if I needed to, um, but they're so cute and like, like, look at that. That's so fun. Um, I want to have fun coloring. There's like a oh, fairy or something back here somewhere that I really like too. She's dancing fairy. Um, she's just, oh, a wood nymph, a wood nymph. Yeah, really pretty. Um, so that'll be really fun. And maybe I'll start, get brave enough to start coloring in it in November. Um, I wanted to find some winter coloring books that were not Christmas. And so I purchased a bunch of these off of Amazon. I really don't have places around here to buy coloring books. I'll show you the three that I bought today that I was able to find at Barnes and Noble, but that's mostly what I have as choices. And so there's some really cute pages in here that are wintry, but then there's also some that are very Christmassy. So Christmassy shopping experience. Um, there's Christmas tree ornaments and stuff, but I really like these birds that I think those are going to be pretty to, to color. And here's some more birds. So there's a few um, Christmas ones, so mostly though it is winter, but like obviously this is very Christmassy, but it's got cute dogs. Um, and so two other books that I picked out that I thought, oh, um, this says winter Christmas coloring book, and this one says winter coloring book, and I thought calm and cozy meant like, hey, um, these are cozy books, like cozy coloring, calming and cozy kind of thing. Well, they're identical. And they're more, largely Christmas, but like, obviously this kitty is really cute and there's a Christmas tree in the background. Um, the snowmen here like are really cute, but they have lights and packages. And then there's, you know, your traditional Christmassy kind of pictures, a lot more outdoorsy things, but, um, you know, like this one even says Merry Christmas. So, um, I'm just not feeling like I really want to color much that's like actually Christmas themed. So I do have these two identical books. I guess I can use one for practice and one for like the real thing. This one came recommended by somebody off of Discord and I really, really, really like it, but I don't know that I'm prepared to color something this beautiful and intricate. Um, my husband's like, oh, you can do anything. Just go for it. And I'm just like, uh, whew, this is a lot. This is the one I really, really want to color. But I've been sitting looking at it and thinking, how do I do this? Like, what do I do with this? Um, so cool. So I went in search of coloring books that I could practice coloring some animals. And I found this one at Barnes & Noble today. Mystic Animals, and it's nothing but animals. So more experience with coloring some animals. And I do really like the pictures in here. Um, and well, I really do like animals. I love animals a lot. Um, so I'll just need to like, I like this moth. Um, and it tells a little bit of stuff about the animals in the book. Um, so, and I really like roosters and chickens. I think they're really pretty. Um, and yeah, yeah, there's just a lot in here that I was like, oh, this is like really great. And the paper is, it's kind of thin, but I'll just use colored pencils or something on it because that's good practice. But lots and lots of animals to color in mystic animals. Then I saw this and as this was like an impulse buy. I wasn't looking for anything Christmas and this is entirely Christmas, but it has some neat pictures in it too. I'm not all that big anymore into the I think those are called Zentangles. Um, like this is too busy for me now, but there's some good ones in here. And so I don't, I don't have to color them all, but this will be good to 
maybe take for Thanksgiving with my family and start getting into a Christmassy sort of mood with some of the pictures that are in here. Um, and I can always just like practice coloring over stuff that I don't want to color. Like some of that. I haven't had a whole lot of choice in coloring books. And so the Zentangle things have been the things that I've been able to get. Um, my pile of coloring books is starting to fall down. I've had to like really prop up the camera weird to get this video. Um, and so I saw this one too and I thought, oh, well, that's awesome. I can get more practice at coloring buildings because I don't really have very many building images. And some of these are like really neat. Um, and some of them are a little bit mandala-like. Um, I just wish it told me where the pictures were taken and, you know, what they're pictures of. I think this might be old London Bridge because London Bridge doesn't look like this anymore, but I think it might be like old London Bridge. And just, I don't know, just could be really fun. Um, it's by Steve McDonald. Um, it does tell some of the places, so maybe I can like Google and see like, is that there? Now, I know this is the Eiffel Tower because I've actually been there. So that's my new coloring books. Like I said, it's like tripling my current amount of coloring books.